Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and to start things off, I have to introduce myself to newcomers. I am born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe in order to be just as blessed as the late Stanley was, in a sense. Hopefully so, it would work out properly, and, and also I apologize for the unintended angle that I'm in. It's not my intention to begin with. And um, for this footage, I'll be introducing a character known as Frostbite, who is a notable love interest for Ignitia, who is a notable sidekick for Denstrini. And if you guys bear with me, I'm going to read the aspect for him and such, and I hope you guys would appreciate it. Ignitia, number one, Frostbite, created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, August 5th, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across the suburbs of New York City until we start observing an odd little boy. This story is particularly about him. His name is Freddy Summers. Since the day he was born, he had a condition that gave him cold, pale skin, Blank white eyes and no hair on his body. Because of this, Freddy was frequently bullied for being different as compared to most other people in his life. By adulthood, however, Freddy developed some ice-based powers and he decided to use them on those who reject or torment him. From that point on, he made an oath to himself to rid the world from all abuse and hatred, though it's not always going to turn out as planned. Currently, Freddy gained the name Frostbite from his first encounter with the pyrokinetic Ignitia, who became his greatest love. Unfortunately, there was a point where Ignitia explained to him that he, his destined oath is not entirely on point, and this in disagreement eventually led to them becoming enemies for a time. Luckily, there's a point where this debate would fade and would make the two t tolerate each other again. Soon, Frostbite got into another fight with Ignitia until a block of concrete fell and hit him directly on the head, leaving him struck with amnesia. When Ignitia saw this, he said to her, Who... Who am I? What am I... doing here? Sweetie, it's me. It's Ebony. You love her. I think you lost your memory. Man, Ebony. I just don't remember a thing. Don't worry, Freddy. I'll take you to the master to help you with that. Who's Freddy? He asked as he fell unconscious. He then took him to the master. She then took him to the master, founder and CEO of the Blue Man Clan, and was revealed to them that his memory would return in a few weeks. By that point, they became lovers again. Gradually, Freddy gained back a third of his memories, and after a time of consideration, he decided to be alone in the South Pole to rethink his life, in order to keep from fighting his destined lover in the future. After a week of thinking, Frostbite discovered that there'll never be happiness without chaos and decided to get used to the stress and rage that's involved in life. The end. Well, I hope you guys appreciate the storyline. I tried my best to keep it efficient for you guys. And if you want, you could comment, subscribe, like, like, subscribe, comment down below. It's all on you. It's your choice. And until next time, I hope you guys are going through highly successful times and such, hopefully so. And, um, hope you guys are willing to check out more of my creations, because I got plenty, to be honest. And until next time, intermission.